You know, we are going to talk about the Pyramid of Chichen Itza. <laughs> we are by the Tongan and the American Indian. You know, Inca, you know, and, uh, and you know, Aztec and all the rest of them help. Because cheese is what's in America. Now, you know, the pyramid of Chichen Itza is a nine big step pyramid. And also 364 uh, small step with the, the one with the one on top make it 65. 365. What what is it meaning? What's the meaning? of the pyramid. Well, it represents a nine months pregnant woman. Nine months pregnant woman. And that's Mary, the mother of Jesus. Eh? And then the 300, that's the nine big step. Steps, right? And then you have the 365 steps, small step, uh, represent the last year BC. <laughs> you know, there's the last year BC. A woman was uh, pregnant because BC will be end. Will come to an end, right? BC period. And then the woman Mary was pregnant and have Jesus, right? Then you start the AD period after Jesus' uh, death and resurrection. Now, you look the, in the front, uh, the, the two serpents, right? Represent God, Tangaloa, or God the Father, Almighty, right? Bringing his son, Ahoetu, or Jesus, bring him down to be born by the woman. Eh? Because there's a child inside. To be born by the woman, Mary. And why? Because uh, he will be born and he will be a sacrifice lamb. Eh? Why is that? Well, the, the shadow, you can see the shadow of the serpent, point out the time that it will take place. It comes down from the top and hit the ground, supposed to be at the equinox springtime. And that's between March 21st and April 20, uh, 25th, eh? April 25th, the equinox springtime. And that means that Jesus will be born and sacrificed. Well, that's why the Father bring him down to be born and sacrificed at the same time, right? In the equinox springtime in between that, the 21st of March and the 25th of April is the 6th and the 7th. Huh? <laughs> the 6th of April when he was born. The 6th of April. He was born on the 6th of April. And uh, I think maybe an hour later is uh, the 7th. Because I th maybe he was born at midnight, you know. I don't know, but he was born at that time because the springtime represent a lot of new trees because they call him the seed of the woman. A lot of trees are coming, new one, new one, the springtime. Bring a lot of new trees, right? And then the resurrection represent also at the same time, it is the Easter week, huh? <laughs> represent the Easter week, represent <coughs> the fall from the other year in the spring, the resurrection in April, April 6th. And that's the, the supposed to be the, uh, the, you know, the Easter week. Now, and that's what happened. Eh? That, uh, Jesus was born at that time. Now, they call it Kuku Khan. Do you know the Tongan word Kuku in Tongan? Kuku means to squeeze it. 
That means it's a squeezing serpent. It's not a poison serpent. It's like the king snake. You know king snake? Who killed the rattlesnake? Huh? King snake. <laughs> you know, it's the king snake. You know, they have found anaconda in those area in South America. You know, there's a big, big snake. Uh, which is, uh, I think the anaconda, this anaconda in Tongan mean poison hole. Poison hole. <laughs> Ana mean cave and, and corner mean poison. Anaconda mean poison cave, you know. But I'm going to talk about this one. It's exactly the name. They call it the uh, Pier Dead Man. You know, the, the man with the beard, they found an embryo. It looked like an embryo. But the man, the head of the man, is a man. You know, it's a man with the beard. It's supposed to be the temple of the bearded man. That's what the Hawaiian uh, saw, Lono, God Lono. He was a bearded, white bearded man, and he told them the same in America. They were waiting for the for Jesus to come back, right? <laughs> you know, the same thing that Hawaiians say, oh, now God Lono came down to be a white bearded man, and he say, I'll be back. Yeah? yeah, I'll be back. I'm coming back. And the Hawaiian call him Lono. Oh, no, Lono. But you know, the Temple Mount over there, did they fight over the Temple Mount? I think the Jebusite man was a Polynesian man. He owned it. It was him, the owner. He was a Jebusite man. And his name, he was named after the Temple Mount. His name was Onan. <laughs> what do you think of that? And it's, uh, I think, the, another area that was uh, God was the shepherd God named Jesus. That's Jesus. The shepherd of God of, of Israel who brought them out of Egypt. His father, God Almighty, huh, is the owner of the farm. Huh? What do you think of that? But his son is the shepherd God. Huh? He was the one who take care of it. And that's what I'm uh, sending the message to know that uh, the Tahumara called him Honor, Honorua. Huh? Remember Otua, eh? Isua, Ihua, those names, you know? that's the uh, same God name. The Tarahumara called their God Onorua, eh? Onorua. It's the same. You know, the Onontaka Indian, there's another name. Six, the Six Nation. That's what the Ono in Tongan mean, Six. Onontaka means the wandering tribe, six tribe, the name of God. You know, we told Kuku Khan and the, and there's the history of the Chichen Nietzsche. Jesus died, you know, and come back to life in April 6th, in the uh, Easter Sunday. You know, I'm not surprised that our people, Tongan people of Easter Island, Huh? They say we come from the place called Hiva. Hiva means nine and also means singing. We were singing at that pyramid for nine months before Jesus was born. We knew about his coming the day he was born. We knew about it. They asked the East Island people, where you people come from? They said, we come from the place Shiva, but we don't remember where. That Shiva mean, Shiva mean. There are more than one pyramid with nine steps. Tikal. Tikal is one of the nine big step pyramid. There are more, you know. So you know that the nine mean in Tongan, in the Tongan East Island and Tonga too, mean... Uh, Nine, and also means singing. That's a birthday number. Why singing on nine? Huh? <laughs> I found Tangaloa and his son, our eight, which is God the Father and Jesus Christ. 
coming to America, right there. Eh? What do you think of that? You know, that, uh, thank you very much. I will talk, bring out a more story so you know that this place is a uh, the Tongan people was the Polynesian was here. The Tongan king is a descendant of those people, kings in America. They found uh, the DNA Polynesian all over South America of the women and the men in the north, Alaska, Siberia, Mongolia, uh, Canada. They found it. <laughs> yeah. It's a tongue and period. I will bring the story of the Viking very soon. Thank you very much. <laughs>